With age, you see a progressive decrease in your muscle strength and muscle mass, which is a huge risk factor for early death and other chronic diseases. Essentially, with less muscle mass and muscle strength, you're more predisposed to hip fractures, you're more predisposed to diabetes, obesity, and other health issues. So, in this video, we're going to take a look at one aspect of muscle strength that appears to be the biggest predictor of reduced mortality and increased survival in elderly. But do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. It's showtime. So let's take a hypothetical scenario. You're 80 years old, you're doing your daily chores, whatever it is, but you're not as fast as you used to be. Like you do become slower the older you get. And because you already have some aspects of physical deterioration, then you are more likely to fall as well. If you're slipping off the stairs, for example, if it's slippery on the winter time, or if you are just stepping in the wrong way, you slip, then the biggest thing that is going to save you in that moment that maintains your balance is your grip strength. You're going to be able to hold onto the staircase, you're going to be able to grab onto the curtain or whatever it is. If you don't have enough grip strength, then you're not really able to lift things off the ground either, and you're not able to hold yourself up that much. And grip strength is is also a good predictor of overall body strength. If you have good grip strength, then chances are you also have higher strength in other parts of your body. When it comes to studies, then we have a bunch of studies finding an association between higher grip strength and reduced mortality, especially in the elderly. In this 2015 study, they found that grip strength was inversely associated with all-cause mortality. In this 2017 UK Biobank study on over 400,000 adults found that lower grip strength and excess adiposity are both independent predictors of higher mortality risk. The higher mortality risk associated with excess adiposity is attenuated, although not completely attenuated, by greater grip strength, which means that higher body fat percentage, being obese, does increase your mortality risk. And if you have higher grip strength, then you mitigate some of that higher risk from the excess adiposity. So even if you are obese, having higher grip strength, although not completely, will protect you against some of that increased mortality risk. The first win. But this doesn't apply only to the elderly. Even midlife hand grip strength is a predictor of old age disability, which means that among healthy 45 to 60 year old men, hand grip strength was highly predictive of functional limitations and disability 20 years, 25 years later, which means that having good muscle strength, especially good grip strength in your midlife, is a good predictor that you're gonna be disability free. You don't have any like issues with your muscle strength and you don't have any like other issues related to functional movements and physical ability. And it applies to even younger people. So in this Swedish study of over 1 million people, and uh, these were actually younger male adolescents between the ages of 16 and 19, they followed them up for 24 years and they found that high muscular strength in adolescents as assessed by knee extension and hand grip tests was associated with a 20 to 35 5% lower risk of premature mortality due to any cause or cardiovascular disease independent of body mass index or blood pressure. Stronger adolescents had a 20 to 30% lower risk of death from suicide and were 15 to 65% less likely to have any psychiatric diagnosis, such as schizophrenia and mood disorders. Adolescents in the lowest tenth of muscular strength showed by far the highest risk of mortality for different causes. Another study from the year 2000, in the healthy middle-aged men, long-term mortality risk was associated with grip strength at baseline, independent of BMI. The possible interpretation of the finding is that early life influences on muscle strength may have long-term implications for mortality. So what it means is that obviously having higher muscle strength generally means that you're healthier. Muscle strength, especially the grip strength, isn't something that you're born with. You have to train it, you have to build it. And doing this even in your early years, especially in your adolescence, up until like your midlife, is going to have a really significant reduction in your mortality risk if you become older. And the reason why it has a reduction in your mortality risk has to do with the fact that if you have higher grip strength, then you're able to you know, catch yourself, you're able to hold onto things more easily, you're able to lift things up, so you have less physical disability. People who are weaker, they have generally less bone density, and 
they're at a higher risk of disability and different kinds of injuries. If you're not able to move, if you're not able to lift things, you're not able to exercise, then you will have worse metabolic health and you also increase the risk of diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, all of which increase your mortality risk quite significantly. And there's also the thing that to build muscle strength and to even build grip strength, then you need to exercise. And exercise is very beneficial for slowing down aging and increasing longevity. But the most important part is consistency. You want to do it for as long as possible. Ideally, you want to do strength training for, you know, until the day you die and as long as you can. The issue is that most people stop doing any form of resistance training and strength training after high school or they might do it in their 20s or 30s but at some point they just you know give in to bad habits and they stop doing the resistance training this is a huge mistake because resistance training is even more important the older you get you can get away with no muscle strength if you're 20 or 30 years old but you really can't get away with no muscle strength if you're 70 to 80 years old big mistake now that you know the importance of grip strength how do you actually train it obviously the most effective way to build grip strength is to do deadlifts and deadlifts are an exercise that train your entire body. Calisthenics and pull-ups are another great variation for building grip strength because you literally have to hang and hold yourself up. Now if you want to really build your grip and your forearm strength then doing weighted pull-ups is magnificent for that because you also add the additional weight beyond your body weight to the bar and that even puts more stress on the grip. Bouldering is another amazing way to build grip strength because you have to hold Hold yourself up and it requires actually a lot more grip and finger strength than doing deadlifts or weighted pull-ups. Now these are the pretty much the only exercises you would ever need to build like iron grip strength. Heavy deadlifts, weighted pull-ups, regular pull-ups, doing like, like thicker bar pull-ups on the bouldering bars, going bouldering, this is pretty much all the grip strength exercises you would need. But there are also some other easier variation grip strength exercises that you can add as accessories into your training. Farmer carries where you hold onto two weights in your hand like a briefcase are amazing way to build grip strength and grip endurance. Now the issue is that if you have too light of a weight like if you can hold the you know the weight for like even several minutes in a row then it doesn't really build that much grip strength it's mostly going to build grip endurance and muscular endurance which is also great obviously you want to do that as well but it doesn't really target the grip strength side as heavy pull-ups or heavy deadlifts will to overcome that issue you want to do more heavier former carries if you're a person who does a lot of physical labor like construction work carpentry or something analogous then uh, you will train and you will use your grip pretty much all day that's why you know you have these old farmers these old guys in their 60s and 70s they have massive forearms they're super strong their handshake can you know crush your hand the reason why they have such good grip strength is because they use their hands pretty much all day all the time every day for you know several years and decades so if you have a physical labor that requires a lot of grip strength and using your hands continuously then chances are you will have higher grip strength as well so in conclusion grip strength is super important for longevity and anti-aging first of all because in some shape or form is going to determine your survival especially in your elderly years if you're about to fall off the stairs if you're about to slip on some sort of ice or something you know being able to hold yourself up or being able to brace yourself when you're about to fall on the ground is literally life-saving and there's the thing that higher grip strength is also a reflection of total body strength the higher your grip strength then chances are your back is also stronger your legs are stronger your muscles in your biceps and chest they're also going to be stronger and with higher total strength strength you will generally have more active metabolically active lean tissue you have better insulin sensitivity and just better health as a result of that as well so definitely don't neglect your grip strength and don't neglect strength training in general strength training is super important especially in terms of extending health span and making sure that you avoid a lot of these physical disabilities most people suffer from in their elderly years but other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click a like subscribe notification bell as well my name is Seem. stay optimized stay empowered